Hi all, welcome to New Horizon London's Tips and Tricks. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of configuration for the wireless network cards today. Uh, that's going to be through the command line. So we're going to be having a bit of fun with that. Uh, using the netshell command. Firstly we're going to look at adding a static address using the command line and then configuring the advanced settings with the netshell command using things like the firewall, IPsec, wireless LAN and branch cache, just as examples. So, first things first, uh, go to a command prompt as an administrator. You can't see the user account control prompt kicking in, but trust me it's there. Running this as an administrator. And if I show you net shell, net sh for short, and I show you question mark, which will show me all of the options available, you can see there's quite a few there. I can configure advanced firewall settings, things like a branch cache, to store contents of a remote server, distributed amongst my Windows 7 clients on the local area network, giving me very fast access to data that potentially should be thousands of miles away. Anyway, that's another lesson. Uh, firewall, standard firewall rules, things like uh, WLAN. WLAN's the interesting one now because in Windows 7 it's brand new. So we can only use this on Windows 7 and above. Server 2008 R2 and above. Anyway, uh, WLAN lets us do things like create scripts so that we can manipulate the entire infrastructure's uh, laptops, for example, with wireless cards. Couldn't do that before, makes it uh, very useful. Anyway, um, show you first of all the netshell command to set a static address. I can show you how you do, it, do, do, do this with a script. So if I just run netshell interface, talking about a network interface, running with IP, which by default is version 4, and uh, with IP version 6, if you just put IP version 6 here and put the IP 6 address in, it would be the same thing. Set address, telling it want to set the connection that you're working on, which is going to be by default local area connection. Just to prove that to you, to show you what I'm talking about, if I go to the network and sharing center, which is in control panel, and manage my network adapter settings, these are all my network cards. If I show you the local area connection, that's the name of the card I'm trying to modify. In fact, I think I'm going to work on the wireless network connection card. That'll do. Then I want to specify that it's going to be a static address. And I put the address in. So 192.168.123.74. I need a subnet mask, standard class C, and a default gateway. That I should have now. The address I specified. Do an IP config to find that out. Okay, just to prove the point, because I didn't show you what it was in the first place. Change it to 70. And there we go. Okay, just thought that'd be a useful little tip to trick tip a tip and trick for you to see how to modify a s address manually. So you don't need to go through network and sharing center, properties of your network card, IP version 4 settings, and change it like that. Hope that was found useful. Come back soon for more tips and tricks, New Horizons London. Bye now.